a chance to get some great Alabama products. Several farmers markets coming your way pretty soon. Join us to talk all about that. We have Anthony Pinkston with the Tuskegee Cooperative Extension. We appreciate you coming in today. Thank you. Thank you for having yeah. me. Tell us, so tell us what's going on. You guys have several events coming up in the next few weeks. Yes. Uh, well, this Saturday we have um, uh, a farmer's market day coming up for uh, uh, the group that we have dealt with. It's about 100 farmers, and uh, uh, we took them through different trainings, uh, teaching about cottage food law, uh, things like uh, good agricultural practices, food safety, and so forth. And so the first event is going to be uh, this Saturday at the Tuskegee University Agricultural Innovation Center at 595 Grady Street. And the second one will be at the Black Belt Marketing Innovation Center in Selma at 4180. Uh, uh, West. Okay. Hi. You are a farmer yourself, but you enjoy teaching and sharing with others. Talk about what you get out of this, the ability to, to help others by sharing your knowledge. Well, I, I think it's important. Uh, uh, your food source is very important. Right. And uh, to be able to have locally uh, grown produce and to make sure that it was raised safe, harvested safe, and uh, 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 to sell to the public is, is, is uh, very important. And so uh, at Tuskegee, we take that very seriously. Uh, to make sure that they are highly trained and, and, and so forth. And uh, uh, so I, I get a lot of a lot of joy from that. This is an event this Saturday and then one the following Saturday as well? Yes. Talk about that. Uh, it will be the same thing. Like I said, we uh, trained over 100 farmers in, in those uh, different areas. And they will, uh, 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 some will be here uh, on the, uh, this Saturday and the others uh, from West Alabama because it's throughout the whole Black Belt where uh, we do programming for uh, Tuskegee uh, University Cooperative Extension. And so some will be uh, in Selma and some here in Montgomery. If folks want more information on either event, they want to sign up, do they need to register to be part of the event? No, it is open to the public. It's open even to uh, uh, the farmers that uh, want to come and uh, sell their produce. There's going to be a, 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 a competition for best display and okay. so forth where they can win a prize and so forth. And the first 15 farmers are going to be, uh, they're going to receive a tent and a nice cooler. Okay, there's something special too about supporting local, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, it is, it is, it's very important to support our local farmers here. Uh, they put a lot of work into it and, and we try to make sure that they can produce the best product uh, available. And so, uh, and they do. It, it looks good, tastes good, and you know exactly where it comes from. Anthony, we appreciate you sharing. I'm sure you'll have some good attendance for both of it. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us today on the News at Noon. We appreciate you joining us.